Hi everyone, this is the second video in the series of recordings about quantitative risk analysis using at-risk software. In the previous video, I showed you how to define the model logic. And in the second video, I will show you how to define outputs and inputs in your model. Let's come back to the Excel sheet. As you see, the model logic is now complete. We were comparing two investment projects, and these projects had some uncertain input variables, such as setup cost, annual revenue, and annual expense. The distribution in this example for all these variables is a triangular distribution, and basically Atris conducts a Monte Carlo simulation to randomly select numbers that fit to this defined uh, distribution. First of all, we should define outputs for our model. Net present value is one of the outputs. We can select the cell and then click on add output on the menu bar. As you see, uh, Atris suggests that you select a name for this output and because it is for project fund, net present value of project fund, we call it MPV fund. Okay. The same thing for internal rate of return. We select the cell and then click on add output. Again, the name should be internal rate of return one. Okay. As you will see in the function bar for Excel, now we have risk output added uh, to the previous value. So at risk considers this cell uh, as an output for Monte Carlo simulation. We should do the same for outputs of project two. So I select NPV for this project and press add output. The name will be NPV2 because this is second project. Okay. And IRR is also the same, so we select the cell, add output, and it should be IRR2. Okay. Now, second step uh, of uh, quantitative risk analysis completed, we should move to third step, which is defining input distributions. As you can see, input distribution for all uncertain variables are triangular. So for example, for the setup cost, I should select the cell. And then in the menu bar, I should press define distribution. When you do so, uh, a series of statistical distributions are illustrated. We should select triangle for our example, and when you select this one, you can change the values. For the setup cost, the minimum, minimum value was $230,000. So we should type it in here, $230,000. The likely value is 250, which is correct in this address window, and the maximum value for setup cost is 290,000. The static value by default is equal to most likely value, and then we press OK. Now, in the function bar, you can see that uh, the value for setup cost is following a triangular distribution with the defined minimum, likely, and maximum values. Sorry is the same for revenue in the first year. As you can see, again, it follows a tri triangular distribution, so we should uh, press define distribution button in the menu bar and then select triangular. Okay. Different values are illustrated here. The minimum value for annual revenue was 
$1,000. Most likely $188K and maximum value here is $197K. Again, by default, the static value is equal to most likely and then we press OK. Again, as you see in the function bar, different parameters of this triangular distribution has been defined for this uh, specific input. We can copy the value to other revenue cells over five years, like this, and each of them are now from the triangular distribution. Again, for the expenses for project one, we select uh, 93,000 and press define distribution. We should set the values in here for a triangular distribution. For example, the minimum value is $91,000. So 91K, the most likely is correct, 93K, and the maximum value is 97K. Then we should copy the values for all five years. Nice. Now we have set uh, a statistical distributions for three uncertain inputs for project one, setup cost, annual revenue, and annual expense. For the cash flow, we don't need to change anything because it automatically computes the difference between revenue and expense. We should do the same thing for project two. We start with setup cost. We set the cell, define distribution, and the values are here. Setup cost, the minimum value is 139. That's correct and the most likely is 148 and the maximum value is 162 and then we press OK. So we should do the same thing for revenue and expense uh, for project two to define distributions. Now we have completed step two and step three in defining a model in at risk software. In the next video, I will show you how to set the number of iterations for your simulation and how to run the simulation. Thank you.